When it comes to improving your dog's health through a nutritious diet, Bosco here is a living example of how that can be improved. Dave, tell me about Bosco. How did he come into your life? Well, he's actually a rescue dog. Um, most people find it hard to believe that a pug would be a rescue, that someone would want to give one up. But we got him as a little puppy, or at least we thought he was a puppy. He was a little ratty thing and he had all sorts of sores and bad skin and stuff. And he was tiny and they thought he was nine months old. Then when we got his, his microchip scanned, it uh, turns out he was three years old. So the reason he was little was he had, had such a bad diet in life as a, as a little pup. What kind of diet are you feeding Bosco? Uh, Bosco's on a raw food diet. Okay, why did you choose raw food? We did our research and you know, my wife and I are both former athletes. We're, we're aging athletes, so we're getting slow in our age. But um, <laughs> we did our research because we, you know, as, as humans and, and people with a sporting background, you kind of, nutrition plays a big role in that, in, in what's best for your health and, and getting the most out of yourself. And we thought, well, you know, we've got to have that same attitude or approach to, to our dog. And it turns out that all the research pointed us in the direction of, of raw food. Mm -hmm. And why big dog in particular? We looked up the different options out there and, and it once again it kind of looked like the best product and, and it turns out it, it, it seems to have done the job, you know, it, it, it's it got all you know, natural ingredients, it's, it's Australian, you know, there's a lot of pluses there as well. And he's picky, it took a while to get him to choose what he wanted to eat and kangaroo was the was the choice early on and now we're, we're transitioning across to the well-being diet because that's for older okay. dogs. Yeah, and, I was going to um, ask. Do you, um, did he have much trouble going on to the diet or was it just... No, no, it was good. We, 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 we transitioned him slowly because he'd been um, on, a, on a, you know, a kibble diet as a, before we got him. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like a slow process, took us probably, I don't know, we spent maybe six weeks doing it. And then, yeah, now he's just fully on the big dog. It was amazing. The, the turnaround was incredible. We, he went from, you know, being that little ratty dog covered in sores and having bad skin to becoming this crazy little cheeky thing that was... <laughs> five kilos heavier, like a healthy weight, and he, yeah. he seemed he, like he grew and his skin became healthy, and yeah. Yeah, he definitely seems like he's got lots of energy and he's full of fun <laughs> and he's great. He hey, if you guys would like to find out more about putting your dogs onto a raw food diet, check out the Big Dog website. Isn't that right, Bosco? <laughs> he's such a good boy. He's a good little dude. <laughs>